Good morning, y'all. It's an early start. I'm basically at Heathrow. Stayed the night. Off to France. It's an early one. A little upsetting to uh, check out of the hotel. The same guy that checked you in. Thank you for your hotel room. Yes, I was only in it three and a half hours. <laughs> right, look who I found. Oh, we've done the cheeky. We've done the, are we going to win the cheeky seat thing, Ray? So I just put my stuff there. Put just my like, discouraged me. There's my imaginary friend in the middle. <laughs> it was his name. I have to make him up because I've only got one friend. <laughs> So we've arrived in France and we are doing today an interesting idea. Under Armour have brought me over to this Performance Institute to speak with JJ. So JJ works with lots of tour pros, he's a biomechanist and there's reports or Under Armour are claiming that their shoes can allow you to have more power. Now I'm questioning this, so they brought me over to ask the questions with the main man. So it's exactly what this really means. I'm going to film a bit now, which is going to tell you what I think it means in the future. So it'll come at the end of the video, so I don't know what it means yet because we've not done it. But once we've done it, we'll refer back to this bit to see if I'm right, wrong, proven wrong by the expert, which I'll be interested to see. Without my shoes, right, I'm just about to be screened again. Can people stop screening me? You need to be tested. I'm perfect. For scientific purposes. So, Thibaut, what are we doing here? We're going to do the posture test. So, I'm going to stand on here and do something. Yes, please. So, you could. Okay, you can step on the plates. Try to put the two feet at the same level regarding to the prints. Yeah. Okay, this is just for me. And you will take a basic posture, like in everyday life. Yeah. You look at the wall without trying to find a special point. Just okay. look at the wall in the globality. And you will stay like that during one minute. Okay? Ready? Ready. Let's go. Okay. okay. You can it's long, one minute, but you know... I'm trying in, to beat the, the system, right? <laughs> he is nervously like that. I don't right even know right what right. the game is, but I'm trying to win it! <laughs> in the, you, you know, where, where, you know what, what is the difficult is really with the young people? So mm. because yeah, they they guys, be because they're all over the place. One minute for them, you know, it's a yeah, long time. It's very long time. Yeah. But you know, it's... it's, it's I reckon it's, I did well at that. Yeah, uh, you're, not, you're not so bad. I will explain you. You're not, you're not so bad. So, so the French... And, and why do we do uh, 52 seconds? 52 second? Because it's, it's a... It's a <laughs> Medical rules, you know, because this system is not using for only for golf, yeah. for everybody to have an idea of how you, the shear force may have an impact, you know, on your spine and shear so on. force is this or, way, yes, is this way. Okay, so here, what we're looking first, you know, which is pretty good, is the repetition in between the the your the weight right, on the yeah. left and right. So I'm not what, I'm when you are 48 around. and 52, we consider that you are Zero. aligned. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you are almost aligned, a little bit tendency on the right, but between you and me, that's, that's nothing where it really, is, is yeah. uh, it's nothing uh, really. Repartition of the weight is good. What also is good is that the modern swing, uh, in the past you have players like uh, have been star, like Sevi Balisteros a lot, you know, who have been able, you know, to, to move, you know, sideways and so on. But yeah. it takes a lot of skill. skill and also a lot of coordination, timing yeah. and so on. So that's why around the year 2000-2004, a lot of coach and their players, they choose a way where they try to stay centered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be able, you know, to have a simple way to swing the ball and just to be more concentrated on putting and, mm, uh, mm, and mm, short games. That's mm. why when we see a guy which is over uh, too much on the left or too much on the right, we know that it's going to be less easy, you know, to be able, you know, to, to put him on a, on, a, on, a, on a simple swing, yeah. uh, you know, with a, with a coach. <laughs> I'm because a professional you, 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 sportsman. <laughs> you, 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 you say that you are weak on that. Why are my pictures not up on camera? No, no, we have enough. Even easier yeah, on the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Side. On the left side. Yeah. So, so that's that's a good point. <laughs> that's a really good point. 
Uh, what we see, you know, that your shock, if I can say your shock absorber yeah. of the lower body are working very well so yeah. far. So they will be able, you know, to, to maintain a good grounding. Yeah. Inside, you know, the hips, the muscle which uh, are internal, uh, who goes in internal rotation, they are weak versus yeah. the external rotation. And when we go uh, over, your body, you know, has some weakness, you know, in, in rotation. Yeah. So. Um, maybe we will have some limitation, you know, in the way you will be able, you know, to continue to, to coil and to release, you know, at the dance floor. Okay. Our uh, mission, you know, with the uh, two Mike Forsey and, and Glancy was to respect the principle of having the force moving around this Hendrix bar okay. to be able to start to create a good coiling. Yeah. If I look at all your shots, you know, uh, that's this bar and everything is working all around, you know, the Hendrix bar on the left and on the right. So I'm not, I I'm not doing it perfectly, am so I? I can, I can show <laughs> oh, you all I the shots. I hate that. And I you, hate you, that. You, we can go back. You know, can, the, we, can we make look, this bigger? <laughs> look this one. That's the, the, all the shots. Yeah. You know, always you are working uh, exactly where you need to. So yeah. I don't will have too much work. To, uh, so you, what you're saying there is I'm using the ground very efficiently. Uh, first of all, around you know, uh, you are not swaying. Yeah, you know, I'm, you yeah. are not putting you know weight out uh, weight outside. Yeah, and as, as I, I will say, you have everything to be able you know to 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 coil. Sure, but, but what I think is interesting, I don't know if you see this. I always very close this is center of pressure is it this yeah. one so i always tend to line my center of pressure up in a straight line with where i started even though i do go out around the houses a bit yeah so my, my pressure trace isn't like pure here into there and back there i have okay, this funny so, little but okay. I, but they always line up the, 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 the cool thing you know should be you know to to have the two line back swing and down swing exactly yeah. Uh, parallel. Yeah. When, when you have a little difference, that means that you are moving somewhere. Well, when uh, I've somewhere. used force plates to teach people, when I see people who can't find the center of club that yeah. well, I often, not always, but often would find the center of pressure would never line up with anywhere where we put it in a decent place at the start. Okay. Often nearer the toes, okay. um, like in crazy places back mm -hmm. here, where anyone who knows me watches my videos, like I'm boringly consistent. Mm -hmm. There isn't speed, but it's boringly consistent. And I don't know if you've seen any patterns with lining center of pressures up with where they start in relationship to consistency I, 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 or not. I, I would say, I would say, for if you look at what you are doing there, yeah, you are not using this part of the foot here. No, the back. No, because that to me, which is where I wanted to go with the second shot. Yeah, I, I'm. Not, I've been brought up to hit it as straight as you can hit it. Played mm -hmm. on a course that literally it's just an alleyway of trees. Mm -hmm. So my ideas of stability equate to accuracy for me. Yeah. So if I was to do my neck shot, which is my joke, I'm going to hit this as hard as possible okay. shot, then you probably would start to see a different Going relationship the in the ground okay. because okay. I, I, I was taught to lock everything down. Okay. So you lock. So you, I'm literally you, like just you, swinging my arms and keeping everything else as stable as stable you, you as possible. You are, you are, you are, you are stable, you know. Yeah. Uh, you are stable, but you should play. You, you should be able to play better. Yeah. You know, with your foot, because we see that even if your posture is a little bit too much in the front, but mm -hmm. you, you, you see your muscle when you engage the muscle, you are able to go backwards. Yeah, yeah. And when you go backward, use all the muscle of your body. Yeah. You know, to be able, you know, to coil. Right now. You just coil with with the mid foot and the front of the foot. So yeah. that means that not all the foot, all the muscle you, you you could use. Yeah, yeah. So certainly, what will you will show me? You know your stupid your, swing. Uh, stupid swing. <laughs> and just, but as in, like, if I look at someone like Bubba Watson, he's making a silly swing. Yeah. I see someone like Patrick Reed, who's yeah. also unweighting. I'm seeing swings that it's as a, swing a kid I would them, never you know? have been. Well, I would that's, never have been taught that because yeah. people would have gone, "Oh, you can't do that. Faldo doesn't do that." Yeah, that, but is that the swing that fit to them? Yeah, yeah. Because when you talk about Bubba Watson, certainly, I, once again, I don't work uh, with yeah, yeah, him, but, yeah. you know, I've been analyzing you know, what he has doing. Yeah. So, but what the tempo he gets to make what he's doing yeah. is huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. So after, we need to, to you know, to talk about uh, the speed, at what speed you are 
doing what you need to do to create you know, a, a good impact. Yeah. So this is my silly swing. So I mean I am I'm gonna hit this six iron gaming six iron for me is like one six four to one seven four. If I do that I reckon I can get this to one eight four, one ninety top end. So JJ, I've just done uh, what I would call like it's called my step through swing. Like when we play, I do it with my driver, don't I, Ray? It's yeah. like I want to just send it as far as possible. I don't care what um, accuracy I've got out of it. When we've measured it on the force plate, we're seeing a noticeable difference in what we call it downforce on the downforce is yeah on the core compression force yeah which is uh, the what the body is able you know to create you know at impact and there you were at 141 kilos compared to you know, one compared 20. to 120 that you will be uh, on your previous previous swing so for sure this one is able you know to create more compression force and to carry the ball uh, further yeah after we see that there is some big move diff, uh, limitation, you yeah. know, uh, some limitation on your bodies, and yeah. right now you won't be able, you know, to to do that or uh, during uh, no. uh, four hours and a half on, on the course. Yeah. You know? So in a way, what I'm thinking is the way I swing the club a bit at the moment. Like if I'm playing and I'm just trying to hit target, a bit nervous, just want to keep it in play. The spikes that you've helped develop in the sole on this shoe, I'm kind of not using them. Not yet. I'm using some of them, some of the some time. Some of them, yeah. That's why the I'm goal. overriding your design again. Yeah. Actually, I don't want to use that spike. So now the goal is just to show how to use that yeah. and see if we could be in the middle of of these two range of data in between the 120 and the 140, which is the, is the maximum you you get there. I need to rock back and forth still. Uh, sorry. Do I need to do this? Yeah, yeah, you, you, uh, no, no, don't need. Uh, don't You're not need. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just hit it. Yeah, yeah. but like please, this. Uh, please do it again. The uh, just do it. Okay, a little bit too quick this one. So you can now see we're using a drill that JJ gave me where I start with my right heel up, put it down, left heel comes up, try and keep my left heel up to almost on the ground as I strike the ball. To see if I can start to use his spike and then see if that makes any difference into the down pressures I put into the ground as I come in and hit the ball, which then in turn might give me some more power. I'm good at funny ones. <laughs> 140. 142. So that's up yeah. with my power swing. Yeah. We, no, that's what's with, with your. Get the launch monitor in. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. that blooming launch monitor first, in. First, make some few more. <laughs> few more. We're getting it wrong, aren't we? You're asking me to use the shoe. Yeah. At exactly. the end of the day. At the end of the so day. I, I came in here not really. I used a bit of it, but not all of it. And you're going, well, why don't you try using it? And yeah. then we do see an increase in down pressure. At the start, you know, when, when you, you take the, the first data, what we see, you are able, you know, to work with your with the the middle, force yeah, yeah. in the middle with the Hendrix bar. Yeah. That's that's the first uh, mission of uh, where we put the spike yeah. to be able, you know, not to have uh, the foot which is rolling around. But you are not using, you know, all the spike like they, as they should. So we just go through the way to be able to use you know the the position of the spikes to increase the coiling in your swing yeah which is interesting because i think lots of people read this like you put these shoes on you you just hit it further you just hit it better that's absolutely not you you've got to put it on and then use it isn't it yeah i would say that's if you, what, that's if, what i think where people are tripping if, it up when they're reading it like you know they're just reading it out there all oh, that these shoes help you hit it further they almost remove the help word yeah, I would say these you shoes know, make me hit it further. Hang on, it said these shoes help you hit it further. You've just taken that word it out. It helps you to go further. First, yeah. it helps you for sure. You but know, to stay to be it. stable. You, you, you. It will help you definitely to stay stable and not to have your foot rolling. You know, okay. in the shoes. Yeah. That's for sure. You see that. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's real. After, you need to know. You need to use that. You need to have to have some uh, some knowledge of where you uh, how you can use you know this yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be uh, uh, that's like some guys sometimes when they, they buy a car they buy a Fantatis car but mm. they never use it you know they don't push it you know yeah, on the, yeah, like absolutely. they want and yeah. they could they could use it but maybe they don't use it. Yeah. I guess my problem is I've always had crap cars, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
Right guys, that was very interesting. JJ was amazing. I love just talking to him, pulling on his resource. That's what I love about these trips. I go away like, learning stuff as much as possible. Before we pull it all together, it's now time to head home. So I'll, I'll be back with you in a minute. Let's get home first. morning y'all. So I'll be honest with you, well look, let's watch what my conclusion was. Conclusion's the wrong words. Let, let's watch what I thought yesterday would be about. So this is the bit I fin I recorded the time trouble bit. <laughs> so I think the idea of the shoe makes you hit them more further is going to be misconstrued because the average player is just going to think they buy the shoe and they hit it further. I'm going to equate this as a guess now to if I went cycling and I wore that pointy helmet. If you want to earn that extra 2%, 1%, 3%, whatever the tests show, this is something you have to consider subject to your ability, how much effort you're putting, how much you really care. Obviously when it comes to shoes, there's other buying factors. The fact that he's got Gore-Tex in it makes me happy. So let's see, that's my prediction. You've already come back, haven't you? So oh, this is all a bit time funny. So is my opinion different now? Kind of is, kind of isn't. Two things. I mean, I think the overriding thing for me, what JJ has done with Under Armour on the Spieth 2. So I quite like the point that they're making about their shoes have the same spike configuration, platform configuration across all models where other shoes don't. Which, if you think about it, is a bit confusing if you're going to talk about the stability and how to use the swing or the shoe in your golf swing. So even if you go to one of their soft spike ones, it's trying to kind of go along the same premise with the ground forces and how you might use the ground. I think the biggest message for me is that it will get very confused and muddied. Do these golf shoes, now here you go, this is the word, help you hit it further. You have to define help. They certainly helped me feel how I could use the floor differently, which might help me find some extra distance. But there's big emphasis on me there. I think where this message gets lost in the social world and the internet world is you're going to read it as do these golf shoes make you hit it further no nothing makes you hit it further it's all on you but can they help possibly can you override them definitely do they make as much difference as moving a sliding weight around on a driver Possibly. Do you see what I mean? Do they make as much difference as the new grooves in the wedge compared to last year's or two years ago grooves? Maybe as much, because again, it's all on you. What I learned from the day, which was fantastic, I love spending time with JJ as a coach. He was inspirational. He is a scientist, so I love talking to people who aren't bogged down in awful golf coaching cliches. They just want to know the facts. They just can deliver their measured, studied truths. And I just learn from people like that. I think Under Armour are learning from people like that. Hopefully you've learned a little bit today about what the message is with any of the companies that make shoes that do this. Now there were other shoes there which I tried. I didn't want to film it. I don't I don't want to get involved in a I just think it's I personally think it's a bit of a messy message. Oh look this shoe helps actually get more power than that shoe and that thing and I let the companies play that game. It seems quite fashionable at the moment to be doing that. They're all kind of doing it. I just think it's a bit of a shame. If I was buying shoes, do I want Gore-Tex in my shoe? Yes, absolutely. That's what I love about the Speef 2. Do I want it to look a certain way? Absolutely. Do I still believe it's kind of the helmet that the cyclist wears, you know? To go faster in the Olympics. Yeah, it kind of is that, but so is moving a sliding weight. So is a groove change in a wedge. So is a move CG from one year to the next year. Just because they're a little bit more geeky fashionable doesn't make it any more relevant. I was shocked when using a shoe with a clever coach, you've got to remember that was with a, 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 a world famous biomechanist who was giving me some ideas on how to push on the floor. It was the combination of those things that allowed me to find that little bit more force into the ground, which you hopefully then you could interpret as a little bit more power or speed onto the golf ball. Let's go down below, let me know what you think. I think it's an interesting one. For me, that message has to stay true. And it's, I know it's just gonna get clouded, but hopefully this one makes you see there are some very clever people trying to do some very clever stuff. Help us all in very little ways because at the end of the day, we will always override it, but at least there are people out there trying to help.